Hello and welcome back everyone. Here we are for some more modern. It's Thursday, so anything goes. <clears throat> We're playing some more modern today. Um, today I wanted to play a little bit more of a fun one. I was really feeling the mood to play some Eldrazi. And I wanted to play this like mono red Eldrazi prison deck. But I just played Pyro Prison on Monday. So I figured, you know, a Chalice of the Void Eldrazi deck would be fun, but I don't really want to do that again. At least not the same week. But I still want to play some Eldrazi, so I decided I wanted to play this list, which is the Jun Dragons list from, I think it was Vegas? Mythic Championship? Not Mythic Championship. Um, Magic Fest Vegas. The uh, GP. It's deck's really sweet. It's doing a lot of awesome things. So for starters, we're playing a Ramp Package of Farseek, Soccer Tribe, Elder, and Search for Tomorrows. We also have Madcap Experiments and Platinum Imperion. Then we have our Thought Knots and our Reality Smashers, which is our Eldrazi package, along with our Eldrazi Temples and our Wastes. We then are playing a nice suite of Dragons. We've got two Thunderbreak Regents, two Glory Bringers, two... By two, I mean four Storm Breath Dragons, four Thunder Maw Hellkites, one Kolagon, and one Silumgar. Cyborg's pretty straightforward. Four Ley Lines, three Collector Oaths, one Carnage Tyrant, three Assassin's Trophies, Two angers and two grudge and two one or one of grudge and one of raid as artifact removal. Of course, the mana base we got some cavern of souls, a blood crypt, overgrown tomb, stomping ground, basic uh, mountain and basic forest, and some fetches. Deck's super straightforward. Uh, let's go and run through some matches and have some fun. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're gonna be on the play here. Um. I don't think we can keep this hand. Yeah, I think it's just too slow. Admittedly, I think this has the same problem, but I think we're going to keep this one. Put that dragon to the graveyard, or to the bottom. Play with the foothills and we'll pass. I'm not going to play Eldrazi Temple, because in order for us to be able to play an Eldrazi on turn 2 anyway, we'd have to draw another Temple and an Eldrazi. Uh, island from our opponent here. Right. I'm not going to fetch yet. No, we obviously can't cast you. We're going to play Temple. So we have Reality Smasher Mana between our hand and field. Yep, opt. Not too surprising here. All that art is uh, a little surprising for the island. All right. Blue white control. All right, that's not looking to be good news here for our hero. We're gonna grab a. Hmm. Yeah, let's get stomping around. Another foothills, eh? Oh, foothills is not really what we wanted to draw. That's alright. That is okay. Overlay tower for something dumb. We got a slam reality smasher here. Although I'd be super happy to draw Cavern of Souls. Let's get Blood Crypt. We need the second red source. Alright, well. Show me the path. Yep, Path to Exile, that's a discard a card. A little awkward, we drew our wastes here. I think it's alright. We're gonna go get a. Discarding a Pact of Nation. Yep, we're gonna search, go get a. I guess just get the forest. 
Is there a have double red? I don't think we need double green for anything, right? Yeah, we shouldn't need double green unless we're going to double spell. Alright, well. Alright, let's. Dragging it up. Yep, cryptic command here, I'm assuming. Yep. Oh, you know what? We should we're supposed to lead on Glorybringer there. Yeah, we're 100% supposed to lead on Glorybringer. I forgot about Stormbirth having pro white. That was a punt. Yep, it's a fairy. Alright, well, I think we need to kill Teferi here, so. Mm -hmm. Show me the path. Yep, you got another one. Alright, well, I gotta discard another card here. Yep. Last basics out of our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're. <clears throat> well, we can actually pick up Stormbreath Dragon next turn now. So there's actually that. Or, right, well, this turn actually. Yep. Yep, that's annoying, but nothing we can really do about it. They can down tick to draw it. Yep, now they have Cryptic Command in hand. Honestly, this Mystic Sanctuary card is just such a terrible card. Oh my god, I hate it. Like, I really do not like that card at all. Guess let's just do it. We gotta fight through these crypto commands eventually. And I go down with choice, we gotta fight through them eventually. I played the storm with dragon because they knew about it and we drew a second one. So I don't really want to reveal to them that we had another one. Alright, Field of Ruin, or Field of Ruin, not Field of the Ruin. Hmm. Well, you're not a card we care about here. Yep, another dragon. Do you have another counterspell for it? Of course you do. Alright, well, we might be dead here. I feel the ruins of wasteland. Hmm. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, dragging it up. Didn't I activate the fairy last turn? No, I did, okay. No, they didn't. They slowly missed his activation. 
This one they can activate, so this one they can activate this one on block. Yep. I mean I'm very surprised they didn't just snap cryptic and encounter it. That seems way better than pathing it. Yeah, it seems way better than pathing it. I don't. All right. Let's just move on. Even if we hit, even if we hit a cavern of souls at this point, we're just so far behind. And they can. Our dragons are four fours at this point. They can deal with those pretty easily. All right. So against control. Honestly, this should be a matchup that's not a problem for us. Um, really? We don't have we don't have five cards to bring in in replace of these. Like Platinum Imperion is not very good against the Path to Exile deck. I mean, I mean, like, I guess we keep one of them in. I mean, a ley line, I guess. I I really don't know what we bring in here. I mean, I don't even really want ley line in. Maybe we're supposed to just keep some of the madcap and. Platinum, just because we don't have any of the better cards in. Uh, Jesus. This sounds awful. I don't think we're supposed to sideboard like this at all. Oh, my God. Alright, let's keep it, I guess. And yeah, let's play this tapped and pass. We obviously don't want to name Snake or Shaman with the Cavern. So I'd be very happy to draw a fetch land here. Jesus. Maybe we have to name Snake here. No, let's just pass. Like, jokes aside, I'd really rather not name... Snake. Now we draw a second cavern. That's a different story. Jesus deck. If I name Snake or Shaman, we get a cast elder, crack elder. Next turn, untap with guaranteed four mana. <sighs> yeah, let's just name Shaman. Oh, uh, it's so annoying. But, like, we don't have enough. I mean, we could wait another turn here, but, like, we still have to draw two more lands at this point. And if they do just have a feel of ruin, like obviously they see to kill our cavern, so we don't really you know it doesn't really stop them. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, they have a feel of ruin here. Okay. I'm gonna grab the forest. Yeah, 
You're a waste. Oh, I'm an idiot. I needed to grab the red source, huh? Yeah, I needed to grab the red source. Yep. Oh, damn it. I, I messed up again. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll play better. We'll start playing better next turn, I promise. Yeah, we missed we missed a big window here to get him with the glory bringer. Yeah, I don't know the fact that we have to. Uh... All right, well that seems pretty good for us, except for the fact that we're almost out of basics. Bringer, cryptic command. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, this is the downside here. I guess if we name Dragon with a Cavern, and they blow it up, we get our green source anyway. But then we're in the same spot, right? Like, we just... Just can't ever resolve a spell. You're gonna field me. Well, we are out of basics, which is very unfortunate for us. So it means soccer tribe elders are dead. Purge. No search because we have no basics left. Yep. All right, we're we're pretty done here, I think. Our draw was just really, really bad this game, and like having no real way of taking advantage of. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, if they two for one us with the Crypt Command, this can be pretty bad here. But if they're fall, if they have another path to exile or a snap path, fuck, oh, they got Crypt Command. All right, that sucks. And we figured they just had a handful of counter spells, like there's like very little doubt. Well, I don't know, like I mean I guess they, they figured they're probably just strip mining us. So like why not just kill our lands? Alright, deck one time cavernous souls off the top. Yep. Yep. I got six cards in here here, so. Hopefully this will help to show us how dead we are. Well, that's definitely helping to show us how dead we are, which feels pretty dead. Yep, five cards in hand. Uh yeah, alright. Um I'm not having fun anymore. Let's move on. Alright, we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, crappy round one there, but we're back for round number two here. The better hand. This hand feels fine. I mean, the problem with these like Eldrazi decks like this, like they can be a little slow, and our mana base is like super awkward. Like it's really weird. Oh yay! You see what I mean? Like our deck, mana base is super weird. Like we can't actually cast the search for tomorrow's. Uh, this one is an inch, an issue other Bluetron. That could be bad. That could be bad. Yep, condescend. Cannot pay one. They get a scry two here. Condescend is a good card. I hope this isn't trying like last week where we got to play two uh, Thursday videos because the first one was so terrible. Like, not that I don't mind getting out a bunch of videos, but I just really don't want that to be our uh, our weekly thing is our first video. Oh, Jesus criminy. Come on, deck. Yep, take a peek. Fuck. I mean, 
guess that's whatever. I mean, we hit another land drop next turn. We get to go Glory Bringer. If we hit another land after that, we get to go into Dragon Lord Colagon. I mean, I may hit Tron. That's great. Let's, what do they have for seven mana? Mm, four, four that I don't care about. Cool. Come on, land off top one time. Yep. Next yeah, we have four mana and we can't cast our dragons. Mm-hmm. Yep, make the trade, they draw a card. Yeah, it's pretty annoying to be honest. These man just felt so bad every game. That's the one, like, I, mean, I guess I could be mulliganing hands a little more aggressively, but just could we get Microsoft Lattice play another tower and end the game, please? Okay, that's not what we're doing. Alright, so you're going to sit here and waste my time. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of wasting my own time. Get to kill Karn at least. There's that. We get to take our next turn and yeah. But I mean, to be honest, at the moment they can't really do much with our next turn. Unless they already have the Academy Ruins to have the lock, which I mean, I would imagine that's why you go get Mind Slavers because you already have the lock. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So now you could shock and you could far seek to fail to find. Actually, I guess you could go. I don't know what you could do. That's one nice thing about our hand being like super bad right now is like there's not a whole lot they can do to make it worse for us. Uh, yeah. Seems like our opponent's thinking the same thing here. Huh. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is, they can go Academy Ruins and set up the lock next turn. Yep. Shh. Yeah, and that's only ten damage. We can't actually kill them next turn. Let's just somehow screw up and cast a card from their graveyard. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, Deck, let there be some justice. Let's draw another cavern off the top. No. That's awkward. I'm just gonna do it, like no reason not to. They got the counter spell, they got the counter spell. Shh. I mean, part of me wants to just sit here and make them kill us now. Congratulations, you get to take all our turns. Alright, never mind. There you go. You got the win. Alright. Yep, now you get my and Vladis and kill us. Cool. Alright, so Leyline shuts off their combo. All this stuff seems good. Any of this stuff seems good. So let's start by not bringing this in. I'm also not a fan of Madcap here because I can just, I guess, I'm sure they have plenty of ways of dealing with this. Um, not a big fan of you. Maybe I don't need all of these. Yeah, let's try it, I guess. This could be wrong, I don't know. And we're kind of at that point now where it's just like, alright, we're just we're just playing this deck to see if we can even win a match. Alright, I am honestly a game at this point. I'll take a game win. Screw a match win. But yeah, I definitely need to say the biggest issue is the mana base. Jesus Christ, speaking of the mana base. I'll keep this one. Yeah, I mean, this is not great either, but it's better than, you know, better than the first one, that's for sure. Alright, far seek. Overgrown zoom. Pass the turn. Alright, let's go. Dragon. Next one's, unless they do something to destroy it, is going to name Eldrazi. All right, let's do this. Yep. Personal response sounds good. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the uh I think Blue Tron is the worst version of Tron. I think that, uh, what's it called? Uh, obviously traditional Tron, Green Tron or Green Black Tron or all the different variants. I think those are the best versions of Tron. But I then think also that, uh, Blue versions are just the worst. Sure, run coil. Sounds good. 
Well, I'm not saying I'm upset by this outcome. I mean, and I imagine a 3-5 is not super easy for them just to kill. I guess they have dismember. Like, bouncing is not good enough? Yeah, I mean, Slumgar's pretty good here. We're sitting here thinking, alright, we're going to have to race a 6-6. We got 10 damage, or 9 damage to their 6. No, no, we don't. We're good. Dragon Lord Slumgar. Yep. I mean, of course, the, the important thing here is even though... We do have their worm coil. Uh, if they kill this and take it back, we still put them to three. To which then they go back up to nine, and then we kill them. So they gotta have more to follow up even after killing this to get back in the game. So they have seven cards in hand. They they should be able to, but you never know. They might not be able to. All right, they have a dismember. Oh, stone it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's attack. I mean, I'd go to four here. I'd go to four here, crack back, and then blow the stone. But that's just me. Cool. Yep, there's a thought not or a reality smash rather. Maybe it's wrong. We're supposed to play the Thunder Maw Hulk Kite, so we have ten damage in the air. Next turn. Well I guess I mean if they Okay. And if they have a land here we're in trouble. Well, yeah, we're pretty fucked. Should have definitely gone in the air. Yep, I mean, at this point now, they can just plus on this, attack for six. And we can't deal with it. Alright, well. Magic happens. Alright, so this is finally... A hand that I can kind of start to see why this deck has potential of being really good. A really powerful ramp hand. Leading on a plane, that's a good start for us. And we go and search into this Elder, likely. Oh god, this is annoying. I remember the Soul Sisters deck. Yeah, they're going to be a Soul Sisters deck. That's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. We got an Arbiter. Nope, Stoneforge. Okay. What'd you grab? Lightning Shadow. 
Gotcha. All right, so next time we're going to go up to four. Crack it. I guess red source. I'm going to essentially be out of basics after this anyway. Yeah. Cast. Forest. Go to my turn. Reality Smasher. Crack it. Stomping Grounds. Reality smashy. So they have half here. They're going to have to discard a card. Also, it turns out swords are not that great against Eldrazi. Oh. Well, Banner Skull's pretty good against Eldrazi still. Mm, it definitely races it well. Yep. All right, six me. Down to eight. Hmm. I don't care about squadron knock. Mm hmm. Two smashies. It's past the turn, I guess. I'm gonna Thunder Mahalkai to mow down a bunch of these squadron knocks. Hmm. Yeah, we would, uh, we would be against the. Stoneforge Mystic deck, why don't we? Yep. Maybe a little premature to slam the 5 5, but whatever. Yep, crack your martyr sands. Yep. So you got six. Yep, so that's their seven card hand. Bunch of paths. That sucks. Yep, that sucks pretty bad. Yep, what's your dish card gonna be? Guessing a squadron hawk. Something Nova. Yep, we're our last basic. Or yeah, our last basic. Okay. No, we got no basic left to find. Six me, I go to one. Yep, now we're dead next turn because life sucks. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right, well, this has been unfortunate. Uh, yeah, just absolutely no luck with this deck. Um, 
Right, so these cards are a consideration here. Um, I don't like Madcap Experiment again here. They have Path to Exiles. I don't think Salumgar is a great card here. I think we'd easily trim this. Actually, probably Glorybringer. Probably Colgon, actually. And then. Maybe not quite bringing the full set of trophies. Mm. Let's cut the Thundermon and bring in like this. See how that goes. We still have a lot of aggressive threats, but this gives us some removal as well. Ways of dealing with Stoneforge's equipment. I would love to play first. This hand's terrible. We're going to mulligan. This hand's worse. I guess I should have kept that first hand because at least we could have played a turn three Eldrazi. Yeah, so if, if I had to sum up this entire deck in one word, it is the mana base is terrible. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm going to put one more back. Sure. All right. Uh. Yep. This is uh. It's going exactly how we drew it up, to be honest. <laughs> no, yeah. I, the man is so bad here. I don't. It's so annoying. Like, this deck seems so sweet, but the mana base is just so awful. It's, like, consistently been the issue. Yep. Dragon. Collector. Passing the turn again. All right, hawk. Assuming grab three hawks. Yep. Draft turn. Yeah, you know let's just let's just pack it in. So much like the Neo Shoal brand, this deck is rough. Uh, the deck's super sweet. I like everything the deck's trying to do up here. Uh, it's this that's my problem. Which I just realized we're only playing 22 lands. Um, we have a lot of early green sources, but like none later in the game. Uh, we have a ton of double red sources, and they're all dragons, so caverns help. But yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, the main base is absolutely horrible. Um, the rest deck seems cool. I'm not a fan of the Madcap against all the Path to Exile decks in the format. And I took it out against Tron because I felt like we could do. We needed to just slam dragons to beat Blue Tron. Sideboard, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of clear-cut cards to cut in matchups because in most matchups, none of these things are specifically good. Like, except for the Madcap package being cut against blue-white control and stuff like that. 
But even then, there's not like enough cards to bring in for the blue-white control matchup. So, yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, this was not not going to end on a good note. Um, Sultai, or uh, Grixis Dragons felt pretty good. This deck seemed cool with what it was doing, but did not perform even slightly the way I'd hoped it would. Um, yeah, sorry this video is not better, guys. I'm going to work on getting another Thursday one out after this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you did enjoy any of the gameplay, hit that like button. Um, let me know how you th how you, th you think we can improve the mana base. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. All right. I'll catch you guys next time.